Welcome to the channel. In this series of episodes, uh, we're going to be walking through Bamboo Studio and its basic functions. In this uh, episode, we're going to be talking about the Add Plate button. All right, so Bamboo Studio uh, currently is on version 1.8.4.51. So it, it's going to be inevitably be changing over time. However, the main features and functions of these buttons should remain the same. So here we are in Bamboo Studio. Uh, you'll notice that I have five plates currently open. Um, and we actually need to add one more. Uh, so let's go up here to the Add Plate button. We're going to go right up there, hit the button, and it brings up a new one. Now you notice that it just changed from the black plate being up here to the new plate. Uh, the black plate means that it's the active plate. So if we uh, are now going to go over here and we're going to add a model to it, we're going to add the tires because that is the only one that is not active or updated on here. So there we go. So it brings it to there. So now if, if I had had that here on this plate, uh, let's go back here and we'll add, we'll add the tires in here. it wouldn't bring it to, it'll bring it to that plate because that is the active plate. So we're just going to delete those. Uh, that doesn't mess everything up. Um, let's go back down here to the uh, tires one. Uh, you'll notice here at the top here, there's like a little pencil editing mark, um, just like the other ones do. All the other ones already have labels for them. So if you click this one, and it brings up a edit plate name. So we can just put tires and then it changes it. Um, if for some reason you wanted to get rid of this plate, you can just click that there and it will get rid of the plate. The plate, it won't get rid of the models that was on the plate. It'll only, um, it, it'll only get rid of the plate itself. So if we go back here now and we'll just go ahead and put tires in there again. There we go. So we're all set. So these are the six plates that it takes to build this mini dune buggy. Um, why would you want to have viewing six plates? Uh, one is for organization, really. Uh, you know, this is going to be printed in multiple colors, um, typically. Uh, you don't need to have an AMS or anything like that to print this in multiple colors because you're printing each individual part. So the wheels can or tires can be black. Um, the seats can be brown. Uh, the body pieces up there in the upper right hand corner can be green. Um, other wheels and stuff like that, they can be gray or black, whatever you want to do. Um, you can even break it down even further if you wanted to. So, um, it does give you a bunch of options to be able to put on here. So let's just say, okay, I have these black tires here. Um, I want these, I want these seats or these, uh, I want these wheels to be black as well. Well, you can just drag them down here because the rest of the things on that plate, you want it to be gray. Who knows? Uh, so it, it does give you some flexibility of where you can, organize your thoughts and make sure that all your parts and everything are uh, accounted for. And that's uh, the add plate button. It's a very simple button, but very effective as you can see for organization of your prints. Uh, and then in case you want to see it here, um, here's the doom buggy um, that we were, that was shown on those. Uh, it's a nice, highly detailed buggy. These uh, 3d sets.com does a really good job with their models and stuff like that. And it's free. Um, so I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more episodes of the Bamboo Studio Quick Clicks. Uh, and uh, drop a like and subscribe if you like. So I hope you're having a great one. Take care. See you next time.